soul, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the G Spot. I'm your host, Mr. G. Hey, do you guys like that song? Huh? Do you guys like that? That's by um, Myron Butler. Yeah, Myron Butler. Um, I, I love that song. I bless the Lord, oh my soul. Ha! In all that is within me. I love I you already know I can't sing worth nothing. That's why I don't even join the choir. I I can't sing. But um <laughs> but now it is what it is. Alright. So this is part two of cleaning out your closet, alright? Now, as you know, in the beginning, in the first one, I pretty much gave you some, 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 uh, uh, outline of what cleaning out your closet is. Um, it's kind of like, your life is the closet. That's what it is. Cleaning out the closet is cleaning out the life. It's too much clutter. You can't find God because there's too much things going on in your life. And besides, are you really seeking God? That's the real question. Are you seeking him? See, because everybody goes through life expecting the regular. Uh, I go to church on the regular, but, you know, it is what it is. But I'm not really seeking him. I just go because uh, I got to keep an appearance popping or I got to, uh, I got to, uh, uh, it's, or it's a, it's just a daily routine. I just go by it through routine. All right. So now, um, let me give you something. Let me give you this real quick. It's Matthew 7, okay? So Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. And I'm going to go to verse 8, all right? But chap Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 says this. Ask, and it shall be given, it shall be given you. I'm reading from the King James Version, all right? So ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you, okay? So Matthew Chapter 7, verse 8 now, says this. For everyone that asketh, that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be open. Now, now most people may not understand what's going on. They may not understand exactly why. Uh, may not understand the, the verse pretty much. So let me break it down. You go through your everyday life, right? Not worrying about anything, just pretty much worried about yourself. You're too busy. Your agenda's full of, of everything, of what you have to do during the day. I mean, you may be married. You got husband and wife, or you got your kids, and you got soccer, baseball, basketball practice for your kids. I mean, you have all this stuff going on in your life, but, you know, how much time do you take to spend with Jesus, you know, to spend with, with Jesus Christ, to spend with God? I mean, to, to reading His Word by praying, uh, studying, um, you know, um, how many people have a, a steady prayer life? How many people have a steady, a, a steady uh, a, a Bible study life? I mean, uh, church is great. You go to church, that's awesome. You go to you go to Bible study, hey, that's awesome. But what about when you're not at church? How much time do you spend with God? Do you have a separate place where you could go and spend time and talk and pray to God? You understand? Let me uh, a little off track, but bear with me. Um, let's go back to the closet scenario situation. So your life is the closet. You have all these things going on in your life, but you seem to be missing something. You you look for God, but see, God has see, God hasn't left you. God hasn't changed. See, the thing about it is, you left Him. You've changed. Mhm. Mm you come on, stick with me. Stick with me. See, the thing about it is, is God don't run away from us. We run away from Him. See, we put everything before he does, you know, before him. You know, we put everything before him. Bottom line. We tend to do that. We're human. Things happen. 
we have to understand though you have to make time for God when we when we we're looking for God but can't find him because we're too busy with our normal lives see but but thing about it is is see cleaning out your closet is Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 see uh, uh, seek and ye shall find right so if you seeking him clean out some of that clutter clean out clean out that clean out your closet boom boom get rid of some things get rid of some things and then you'll find yourself changing because God will be right there God's like hey, I've been right here all this time you know what I'm saying I've been right here all this time but I I, I need you you know I, I I need you you know what I'm saying so um bottom line is he needs us to do his work and we need him but the thing about it is is God can't move in your life unless you have him in it come on somebody God cannot move in your life unless you have him in it okay so if you put everything else before God, how can you expect God to move when your life is already full? Come on. So when your life being sealed, it's like a cup. You know, you're it's like having a cup half empty or half full. You know, most people, you know, let's just take that. And the thing about it is, how can you expect God to come into your life when things all filled up already? Now, get rid of some, get rid of uh, uh, the crowd you hang with. Get rid of some things in your life. Concentrate on God, and you'll see. And you feel God move. Okay? So, understand when you seek and thee shall, you know, ye shall find. So, you have to seek God in order to find some things in you. See, let me, let me put it to you like this. I feel good right now. I feel good. Let me put it to you like this. When you seek the Lord, mm -hmm, when you seek out the Lord, You'll find some amazing things. You'll find you'll you'll find joy. You'll find peace. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, you'll start to find and and see things in a whole new ad. You'll start to find things in your life that you like. Man, I I didn't even realize I was doing that. I didn't realize that 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 I was putting everything before my God. You you start to to really re God will open your eyes to the world. He'll open your eyes to the world. And you'll see things very differently. But you'll be thinking and seeing clearly. Okay? So, that is my deal. That is that is my verse to you. And that is cleaning out your closet. Get rid of, get rid of that. You know, dump that cup out. It may be half full. Dump it out. Let God come into your life. Ask Him into your life. Mm -hmm. Accept Christ as your Savior. That's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. Accept Christ as your Savior. Mm -hmm. Believe. See... I'm gonna I'm gonna make another video. It's called ABC. Now, the ABC. There's an ABC. Now, most people may not know what I mean, but you'll find out on the next video. All right, and you'll understand what I mean by accepting him into your life, falling on your falling on your knees. You know, bowing down to him because see, without him, you are nothing. Without God, we are nothing. We need him to survive. Bottom line. I need you, you need me, we're all a part of God's body, stand with me, agree with me, I love you, I need you to survive, see, that's what I'm saying, we need God to survive, it is his will that every need be supplied. He is important to our lives. All right? I'll leave you with that. I want you guys to have a prosperous, blessed day. I got to get ready to get up out of here. I got to get ready to, to, to make things happen. I got a church tonight, Bible study tonight. Amen, amen, and amen. I know, I know the youth pastor got, I, I, I know, I, I know this is the pastor got something. He's the young adult pastor, you know, young adult pastor also, but I know he got a good, I know he got a good lesson today. I, I already know that. Um, but if anybody's in Sacramento, if you're seeing this in Sacramento, look, Bible study Wednesdays, uh, 
River Valley Baptist Church on Bell and Alta Art in Sacramento, California. Um, Sunday, we have um, Sunday school at 10 a.m. And then we have uh, service at 11 to 12, all right? So, Sunday school, 10 to 11. So, uh, service from 11 to 12, all right? Um, hey, I love you guys. I, 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 I enjoy making these videos for you. It, I hope everything bless you. I hope this scripture speaks to you. Um, like I said, I'm going to be making a new video called ABC, all right? Um, I want everybody to have a, 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 a great day. Enjoy the rest of your night. I'm going to be praying over you. Um, and uh, like I always say, stay up and stay real. God bless. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, oh my soul.